to my channel so in today's video I am doing this fall makeup look right here that you see I have a step-by-step -step voiceover tutorial on how I created this fall look so you can create it yourself before this fall season is over with but before we get into this tutorial I wanted to talk about a brand that I have been absolutely loving and I need to tell you guys about it if you haven't already heard about it so the brand is called dossier and I have right here a perfume that I want to show you actually two of them because you guys you just need the hookup and I'm gonna hook you up and I do have a discount code for you so that will save you money at checkout who doesn't want to smell luxurious but also for an affordable price I know that I do and I love an affordable price but I also want to smell luxurious does that make sense I know it does because this company has it nailed down to a T so right here, I just want to show you, I have two perfumes that I want to show you by Dossier, but I have been loving the YSL Black Opium. I have it right here. As you guys can see, it is almost empty. Well, Floriental Vanilla is the dupe for the YSL Black Opium, and let me tell you, they smell identical. So if you've always wanted to try, you know, YSL Black Opium, I know that this right here was around, I think, $100 to $110, and this right here is $29. You gotta try out Dossier, but this one right here is my ultimate favorite, the Floriental Vanilla. Look at the size bottle that you get for $29, and then you look at this one for $110. So, you know what I'm saying? You can't beat this. You can't beat that, and I am just absolutely in love. And I just wanted to say before I show you guys the next perfume, which this one you have to try. If you're going to try one perfume, you got to try Floriental Vanilla. It's just so good. But what I wanted to say was you guys know if you've been following me for a while that I do not share or promote products that I don't like personally. I'm not the type of, you know, YouTuber that is going to share a product with you just so I can, you know... Oh, use my discount code. Oh, you know, blah, 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 blah. That's not me. I am the type of person that if I don't like a product, I'm not going to share it with you guys. When I tell you that this is a need that you have to have, it is the best and I am in love with it and I'm so glad that I can share this with you guys. So the next scent that I got, which I love, so this is what the box looks like when you get your perfume. It's a very sleek type of box. It says iconic scents, designer quality, no markups, which is so true and that's what I really love about it because your girl... She wants to smell like money, okay? But I also don't want to have, you know, a ton of these that I have to go buy for 110 however much. And there's all different brands. So right here, this one is inspired by Gucci Bloom. Now, your girl don't have a ton of money to go buy YSL, Gucci, Chanel, all these different brands for the full price when I could now have this inspired perfume for $29. Okay, can't beat that. So this one right here is, like I said, inspired by Gucci Bloom, and this smells, oh, it's so fresh yet so sexy. This one is Floral Honeysuckle. So that is what this one looks like. Smells delicious, and oh, I'm gonna spray this one on me right now. Oh my goodness, mm, I smell luxurious, am I right? Can you smell me? <laughs> okay, so my discount code and the link will be in the description box down below so you can head over to Dossier, you can get your perfumes, and let me tell you, as a girl that has this bottle completely almost empty of YSL Black Opium, the Floriento Vanilla identical so when I tell you that this brand is legit it's amazing I'm not turning back they have you know women scents men scents and unisex scents so um I think that's great you can get your spouse you could get a family member you could get your dad something for Christmas your mom your sister your aunt they have it all covered on their website and I am so so glad to be sharing this brand and these products with you guys because mwah, top notch. So if you want to see how I created this fall makeup look, then just keep on watching. So I'm just coming in with my Anastasia Dip Brow. This is what I'm using to fill in my eyebrows. Now, if you like to use powder, brow gels, whatever you like to 
used, you can use. If you don't like to put anything on your brows, you don't have to, but I'm just filling in my eyebrows with the dip brow. I am just applying this all over my eyebrows. Now, I'm not applying it super neat because I am going to be coming in with a concealer to clean up any wonky, wobbly lines. That helps just to give it a very crisp, clean look. But if I wasn't using concealer, I would definitely apply it a lot neater. A little, t little thing right now, do not mind my dry skin. I have been doing so many Halloween looks on TikTok. I haven't been completely MIA. I've just been posting on TikTok so much, and I have been posting step-by-step -step tutorials for Halloween makeup looks. So check my TikTok out, The Italian Diva 13. So I'm just coming in with that concealer, and we're just cleaning up our eyebrows. Once again, this just makes the brows look super clean and neat. So I am just doing that on the top and bottom and this also helps to prep the eye for the eyeshadow because I do drag that concealer on the lower part of the brow down onto the lid which gives a very nice prep eyelid for the eyeshadow to make it stick and last. So as you can see I have the red but we do cover that up on the lid from my past little makeup that I did um, and also like I said my skin has been super super dry just from so much face paint on my face. We're taking the Michaela Times Glam Light Palette and we're taking those two shades right there and that's going to be our transition shade. So I'm just blending this into the crease and dragging it out to where the tip of my brow ends just for that nice you know elongated type of eye look. So I'm just putting that into the crease and you need a transition shade because this helps to blend all the other colors together and you know we just want to do what we gotta do so just doing that on both eyes I do come in with another shade which where is it Gina I believe it's hot cocoa and it was very unnecessary I didn't feel like it needed to be you know add it to the eye but I thought it was gonna warm it up a little bit and clearly I erased the clip so I'm adding hot cocoa right here you can see it's definitely a little bit more of a warmer brown that I'm adding into the crease um, and just dragging it out a little bit but the dark brown shade I believe it's called willow I do show it to you in one second though um, it does cover up that hot cocoa so I do that to both sides because if you do something to one side, you got to do it to the other, all right? So I'm still using the same brush as the first two shades that we used in our transition shade. So yeah, I'm coming in with Willow right there. It's like a dark purpley brown. It's really nice, a really beautiful fall color. And I'm just blending that on the outer corner of my eye and just dragging it into the crease more to the inner part of the eye, but still staying in the crease. So this is just going to add that depth and dimension that we like and that we need. And I am just, oh my God, the dry skin is driving me nuts, you guys. But hey, it is what it is. Follow my TikTok so you can see all those looks, okay? Um, once again, the Italian Diva 13, if you leave a comment under my any one of my videos saying I followed you from YouTube, I will follow you back. So I'm just taking a baby wipe and cleaning all the fallout that fell underneath my eyes. That's why I like to do my foundation last, but um, I'm just cleaning it and then dragging underneath it just to make it super sharp and clean. You could use tape if you wanted to, but I just like using the baby wipe. And you can also use a little bit of concealer if you wanted to as well. But I have just been using a makeup wipe, a baby wipe for so long now that that's just what I'm used to. Now I'm just taking my concealer and I'm putting that on. On the what's it called eyelash curler I saw this little hack on TikTok, and all you're gonna do want to do is press it where you want your cut crease it's just a nice hack for people that struggle with doing cut creases and also for those that do cut creases just an easier way um, to get that cut crease done so I'm just adding a little bit more concealer and I'm just blending that out with the same concealer brush dragging it down just keeping that line really neat and dragging it onto the lid and then we are just going to do that to both sides and I'm going to come in with a really nice shade but you want to spray your brush first because this makes the shimmer shades really pop so we're coming in with this like golden type type of shimmer shade and I thought it was perfect because when I think of falls I think of the golds and the bronzy tones and then for like winter I think of like the silver tones and cool tone colors so I'm just taking my brush that I sprayed with my setting spray which is by Maybelline and I'm just taking that shimmer shade and putting that all on the lid you're gonna want to come in with that same dark dark brown shade in a few minutes and you're gonna want to you see that harsh line between the dark brown and oh I guess I already did it I must have cut that part out too it just blends the shades together as you can see it looks so much better um, and I'm just taking my mascara so all I do is just dab the brush onto the um, shimmer shade and it just blends it together I'm taking Isaiah and Ina cosmetics um, 
eyelashes in style Italian Diva. I am having a giveaway and I'm also using our two-in-one eyelash adhesive, but I am having a giveaway on our Instagram, Isaiah Nina Cosmetics, where you can win our eye bundle, which includes a pair of our 3D full mink lashes in style Italian Diva, our two-in-one eyelash adhesive, which is in this shade right here, black, and it's a eyeliner and eyelash adhesive in one, and also our eyelash tweezers for easy application. So we are picking five winners to win our eye bundle. So that giveaway will be ending soon. So head over to my Instagram page or Isaiah Nina Cosmetics and you will see what you have to do to enter into that giveaway. So I am just applying this on my, you know, lid as wing liner. I also did the Jeffree Star mascara just to blend my real lashes in with the fake ones. There is the lashes applied with the eyeliner. Now we're coming into my dry face and I am just taking the setting spray again in the Fenty Beauty. We needed a little dance break, the Fenty Beauty primer, and I am just putting that all over my face. This kind of like moisturizes my skin. It's not like other primers that I've tried. Um, it's all right. It's not my fave, but I do like it for the moisture. Coming in with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. Um, what is it? Pro Glow Foundation, I believe. Um, and I'm just blending that in with my fingers. And then since I have been doing a ton of Halloween looks, I wanted to just have a ton of these disposable makeup sponges. So I'm just spraying that with a little bit of setting spray and I'm going to blend out my foundation with that. These are great to have in your kit if you're a makeup artist. That's where mine were and they just come in very handy also for Halloween looks. So I have been using a ton of those so I thought why not? I'm just going to use this right now. They're easy. I can throw them out when I'm done and bada bing bada boom. So just blending out that foundation all over my face and we're taking the same concealer we use for our eyebrows which is the Maybelline Fit Me and I am just putting that underneath both eyes on the bridge of my nose, um, my cupid's bow and my chin. So I'm getting ahead of myself here, but we're just doing that and blending that out with that same little disposable sponge and blend, blend, blend. Everything is all about blending, even the face. We don't want, you know, a face that's not blended. Am I right? So I'm just blending really nice underneath the eyeliner so it looks very crisp. I'm coming in with two shades, 110 and 220. 110 is going underneath my eyes for that bright effect where we added the concealer on my nose on my cupid's bow and on my chin that is where i applied the concealer that's where i'm applying the lighter powder then i'm coming in with the darker powder which is in 220 and i'm just kind of blending over that lighter shade and then all over my face just so we can set the rest of the foundation you want to set because you don't want your bronzer to have that muddy effect on the face and we just want to look blended so i'm coming in with the il maquillage carly bible face palette I am using the bronzer um, to contour. I'm also using the blush in this palette and I'm using the highlighter in this palette. This is a beautiful face palette. I'm not sure if it's still available because I know they said once it sold out, that was it. They're not having any more, but if it still is available, this is definitely a palette you need. I think I might've got the shade medium. I'm not sure my mom got me the palette, so it might be medium, but I don't know. It's just a great face palette and I love it so much because I use the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter. Um, and it comes with two highlighters, but one of them is my fave. I'm coming in with that lighter powder again just to kind of bake underneath that contour. Now I'm coming in with that beautiful colored pinky blush and I'm just applying that above the bronzer. Um, you know, spraying my face again once I wiped away that powder. And we're going to come in with the highlighter shade from the Il Maquillage Carly Bible Face Palette. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it so much. It has more of like a goldy type of highlight to it. So I thought it was perfect for this fall makeup look. And I'm just applying that on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, on my cheekbones, you know, all over because we want to be highlighted, baby. Okay. Coming in with the Dragon Beauty lip liner. This is like a darker brown lip liner because I wanted to do a lighter nude. So I like to do a dark brown liner with the lighter nude on the inside. So just lining my lips gotta line the lips I love lining my lips I just feel like it really you know mwah, makes a look so just doing that to the upper and bottom part of my lips okay la, 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 la. love it this shade is beautiful and uh, dragon beauty lip liners are one of my favorite lip liners they are fantastic so now I'm gonna take my Anastasia liquid lipstick and it's this really light light nude shade but it just really went well with the darker brown lip liner so just applying that and kind of blending it nicely together they complement each other very well taking the two shades that we use as our transition for the lower part of the lash line and then also that dark brown willow shade 
also underneath just to make it a little bit more smoky and just so everything blends nicely together because we have that on the upper part um, of our eye anyways. Taking the Il Maquillage Carly Bible Palette, that highlight shade for the inner corners of my eyes and also on my brow bone. I also like to come in, well, we're going to, you know, do the mascara, of course, on the lower lash line, but I do like to come in with a Q-tip and just go in the inner corner of my eye in case any eyeshadow fell in there because we don't want that. I'm going to spray my face once again because we want to make sure we set that makeup so it lasts all day. And here is the completed look, you guys. I hope that you guys liked it, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys!